Hi, this is Craig Selinger, owner of Brooklyn Letters and Temba Tutors. I'm a licensed speech language pathologist, and I am also a learning specialist. And this is my first video, and I'm here just to talk to you about the transition to homeschooling. As you know, like everyone now, there's been a universal shift around the world. Uh, not only is this obviously happening locally, but internationally, everyone is is feeling the you know the effects of the coronavirus. So what, I mean, one of my goals, honestly, before the coronavirus was to do some videos. I just never was able to do it. Now I think there's a good opportunity to, to take advantage and I'll have other, uh, our directors and also other guests that will maybe share information that will help families. I mean, that's our ultimate goal. And um, so I also have two children. I have a wife. My wife now has transitioned to working at home. And I have two sons. Both are turning, well, one's turning seven in May and one is turning four in May. So they've been home as well. We've been fortunate to have a uh, college student who has been babysitting them. She lives in our building. So uh, so it's been a huge reprieve just because um, I've been working my butt off because I have two companies that rely we have over you know in total probably around 100 professionals or so that work for us and they provide in-home support services most of what we offer are speech language therapy tutoring and learning specialists so now we have to transition to remote work my wife fortunately uh, she sells her job and she's also transitioned to remote work so she's been working crazy hours and then we got two little kids. So, um, you know, so I've been helping, you know, educate my, my son be doing academic stuff, which is up my wheelhouse. So I've been really lucky that I am trained in teaching him and I've been keeping him busy. But um, but they've also been having a lot of fun, which is also the most important thing. They have a great bonding time. So I, I think what in, due to these circumstances, what's really important is that I know a lot of people are stressed but try to be, I know you, you say something like, try to do this, try to do that. And like, oh yeah, sure, it's not that easy. Um, but I really do think that um, due to the adversity that something positive or maybe more than one positive thing can happen. And I know a lot of people, they are worried about the parents or elders and, and as you should be. Um, but there are some things we can control and that being said, you know, hopefully if I create this video series and I have time to do it, I don't want to disappoint that there's only one or two videos, then you never hear from me again, um, how we can provide helpful tips to help families. I hope this video is helpful.